appointed by the Supreme Court? Yeah, that just came out, I believe, at 9, uh, 9 o'clock Central. Uh, we're still digesting that. We've uh, been in contact with uh, the Attorney General and, and uh, uh, Mithin, his first assistant, gave us a briefing on that uh, uh, a couple days ago. And so uh, we're still digesting that information. It's going to have, uh, um, obviously, with the criminal with the criminal cases, it's going to have uh, um, uh, an impact on Oklahomans, but it's also a pretty pretty narrow opinion that, that could have other implica implications for the state of Oklahoma. So we're still monitoring that uh, and uh, uh, still talking to uh, the experts to see exactly uh, what that means for the state of Oklahoma. You're a Tulsa guy. Tulsa, you know, partially being within the boundaries of the Tulsa Nation. Have you heard from some of your fellow business folks and leaders back in Tulsa County about this? Uh, no, it's just it's so new. Uh, obviously, we're we're trying to figure out what does what does uh, federal prosecution mean, and the state does not prosecute certain crimes. Does it stop on the on the prosecution of crimes, or does it does it move into taxations? Uh, all those all those questions are things that uh, nobody really knows at this point. I was with Senator Lankford earlier today. This is a federal issue. It's something that the uh, uh, Congress needs to address. Uh, to, to uh, uh, put some parameters and see exactly how we're supposed to, uh, to deal with this.